Hi, Josh Taylor from Spinning here. If you're doing a performance-based spinning class with us using the Spinning Connect app, there are a few settings that I feel are very important for you to be aware of. So to get started, I'd like you to go ahead and open up your Spinning Connect app on your device. And then there are, like I said, there's some settings that are very important to set up so that you can do the training properly. So the first thing you're going to see when you open the app is Connect Bike Sensors. We're going to come back to this screen in a second. But what I'd like you to hit first is your power button at the bottom of the screen. So go ahead and hit that, select it, and then you're going to see this power test screen pops up. And it's going to show current FTP. Now what your FTP is, is your functional threshold power. Now if you don't know what that is in terms of what it's for, this is basically to set up your zone training within the app. We have five zones, which I'll show you here in a second, and seven zones. And in a lot of the classes, especially for spinning, we're going to be using the five zones. So we'll get into that a little bit later. But right now, I'm going to show you how to set your FTP manually if you know it. And if you don't know it, you'll see down low on that screen, if you page up, there's a five-minute FTP test, there's a 20-minute FTP test, and a ramp test. Five test, quick and easy. If you're pressed for time, uh, it's a rough estimate of your FTP. The 20 minute one, that's advanced. That's a tough one. Um, it's hard to do, but it is a really good estimate. And then our recommended is the ramp test. So I would highly suggest that you choose one of those if you do not know your FTP. Now, if you want to set it manually, you're just going to go ahead and hit the little edit icon. And you'll see right here, I can page up and down to get the exact number I'd like. In this case, I'm going to select, this is for me, I'm going to select 340 and then hit save and you're good to go. Okay, so after you've got that set up or if you've taken one of our tests, you're then going to go over to settings, hit settings, and now from here, for a lot of the rides that are performance-based, it's really important to change the training interface. Now, in this case, it's set to classic. That basically mirrors our consoles that are on most of our power bikes in the market. Uh, but in this case, I want you to go to modern. So you're going to go ahead and just touch that, and you'll see it'll switch over to the modern view. In the modern view, which I'll show you here in a second, you're going to see all the zones in the main screen. So you'll have both your power zones showing, and you'll have your heart rate zone showing. Okay, from here, let's go to sensors. Now you're going to connect your bike. So in this case, I am on a spinning bike that has a Spin Power Studio crank. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do, of course, is connect that. So I'm going to go ahead and hit select. Now in this case, you're going to see right here, I've connected to a bunch of different bikes. The bike I am currently on is number three. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit select and select number three. And up comes connect. I'll go ahead and hit connect. And it'll take a second say connecting and you can see now I'm connected I've got a little check mark now from here you can go back and I have a heart rate strap on so I've already connected this before and it automatically did it but if you don't have something connected you're just going to hit start searching it'll look for your heart rate monitor you can do the same thing with a crank arm or a bike that is Bluetooth enabled and go ahead and connect by hitting start searching go back you can see now I've got Bike number three is connected, that's good. I've got power and cadence, and I've got my heart rate strap on there, and I'm ready to go. Okay, now that I've got everything connected, I've got both my power meter connected, and I've got my heart rate strap connected. Now I'm gonna go to home, and from here, you can see that if everything is connected, you're gonna have your wattage number reading, you're gonna see your heart rate reading right below that, and then of course, you've got your RPM. Now, something that's really important on this screen that you'll see in this modern view is you have your zone graphs underneath wattage, and you also have your zone graph under your heart rate. Uh, so if you're doing performance-based riding, I highly suggest that you use this screen because you have that. Now, let's just go quickly through the screen and what stuff is. At the top, you're going to see total time. That is the entire ride. Once you hit the start button, that will start that timer, which I'm going to show you right now. So you're going to see the timer will start, and then I've also got my interval section that pops up, which I'll talk about here in a second. So to the left of total time, you've got your total calories burned. Over the given amount of time, you've got your distance to the right. 
right below that, as you can see, you've got your current wattage, you've got your average watts to the left, you've got your percentage of FTP, and then if you just tap that button, it's going to give you your watts per kilogram. You can top it, tap it again, and that'll take you back to FTP. Right below that, I've got my beats per minute. I've got my average heart rate, you know, average beats per minute. To the left and then to the right, I've got my percentage of max heart rate. And of course, below that, I've got my heart rate zones. Below that, I have RPM. And then to the left of that, I've got my average RPM over the given amount of time. And the interval section below, you're going to see that little gray button. When I hit that, it's going to go green and let me know that green is saying interval is working. It's, it's recording an interval for you. If you hit it again, it's going to go red. That means the interval has been stopped, but you've already started in an interval. Down below that, you have your pause button that's going to pause everything and ask you if you either want to stop the ride or continue. Now, something really cool about this, I talked about power zones, is we can adjust from a five zone to a seven. If you'd like to do that, you're going to swipe left and you're going to come to the zone screen. From here, I can either select BPM, beats per minute, my heart rate, or I can hit watts, and that's going to give me that number. Now, as you can see at the very bottom here, I've got five zones and seven zones. So I can select either seven or five. That's up to you. In most of the rides in the spinning classes, you're going to do five. But if you want to dissect your training a little bit more, you can always use seven. You can also hit the button right above that, and it's going to give you the percentages that we use for each zone. So you can see how that works. That's a good reference for you. Select what you'd like, swipe right, you come back to the main screen. Now from here, if I swipe right again, it's going to take you to our advanced interval screen. So you're going to see basically everything's sort of the same. Uh, you've got your current wattage right below the time, got your BPMs and the zones you're in. But the cool thing is you've got a much larger interval section here in the gray bubble. That's going to give you your average watts over the given amount of time. It's going to give you your average watts per kilogram in this screen, which is nice. And of course, how many calories you burned. And if you hit the little down arrow, it's going to give you the last two intervals you've done, showing you three intervals from the top. Then you've got two below. Then if I swipe right again, you're going to have all the intervals that you've done. So it gives you a lot of access to what you're doing. You can see everything you need to have a fantastic ride then of course come back to your main screen for most of the rides but you can swipe left and right to get what you need in terms of information yeah so those are the things i would set in the spinning connect app to have a fantastic experience in all of the performance-based spinning classes